Family got Danny down. He should sleep for a couple hours now. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Did you get all the picnic leftovers put away? Yes, I did. Okay. Now it's our time to relax with the boy you're dreaming. Actually, mm. I think I should use this time to write some more thank you notes for the baby No gifts. more thank you notes. You need a rest, okay? No, I'm not tired. I, I've got a million things to do. I should sterilize some more of Danny's bottles. Sterilize two dozen of them, yes. And I don't have to do it every time. I know. When the baby's resting, the mother should be resting, too. You know that, Doctor. I said I know, Ian. Good. Now, I have a couple hours before we go back to the hospital. So why don't you go in there, get some rest. Damn it! Stop telling me what to do! Just had a nice day in the park. All I'm asking you is to get some rest. Ordered me. I what? Ordered me, and in that tone. What tone is that? That tone you use when you think that I can't take care of Danny just because I want to sterilize some extra baby bottles. No, you're making more work for yourself. Sally. I know as much about bacteria as you or any other doctor. You what? think that maybe you're overreacting? No, I don't. I need you to believe in me, to trust me, to take care of Danny. I trust you to take care of him. But why is it that every time I make a suggestion, you want to bite my head? Because up? I know what you're thinking. You don't know what I'm thinking. This is like walking on eggshells around here. This is crazy. What? So now I'm a lunatic? See. Oh, well, if you say I am, then I guess I am. There. Lama, what are you, what are you... I'm a lunatic now, right? I'm crazy. Because you said so, I must be crazy. Well, I might as well live up to your expectations. Look. I'm crazy. Danny, watch out. Your mommy's crazy because Danny says so. She's crazy, crazy, crazy! How's that? Crazy enough for you? You're almost done with your little tantrum. How dare you talk to me like, like what? that? Like An infant. That's how you're acting. And you are acting like some overbearing, over-testosterone. Well, this isn't about me right now, is it? I'm not the one throwing things. This is about you. No, this is about you acting like some general, barking out commands like he's got a stick up his pants. We are all wrong, right? You're the only one that's right. The rest of us are a bunch of idiots. Well, if that's what you're hearing in your own little private world over there, maybe it's because you're not showing the right judgment lately. Starting with taking Daniel out of the hospital without telling me. We went over this. And then this little tantrum. And locking yourself outside the apartment with Daniel still in here and having to what, call the fire department? This has nothing to do with you being a good mother or a bad mother or any kind of mother. This is about you getting a grip. A grip? You heard me. You insensitive pig. Any mother would be overprotective after fighting a monster like Caleb. I understand that. How dare you use what happened to us against me? I said I get it, Eve. I understand why you're upset. What I don't understand why you want to let it out on me. I don't know why I'm doing this, okay? I don't know why I feel the way I feel. I just do. And you're right. We had a beautiful day in the park. We did. And the minute we got back into this house, everything changed. It's like this day never happened. Yeah. 